Alright, we, we ready for this? Clear! She runs! Kind of unique, a uh, Edge Performance on a TSI. I want to apologize for the weird looking fuel pressure regulator up here. We weren't sent the correct one and this is just to get it running just so we can leak check and make sure any electrical gremlins are worked out. First test run, what we're going to do, I'm going to start it. We're going to make sure that it starts um, and then after running for maybe 15-20 seconds or so, if everything appears to be normal, we'll shut down. I'll come out, I'll leak check everything, make sure we're not like leaking a lot of coolant anywhere or uh, the oil system looks tight, fuel system looks tight, just do a general look over, make sure everything appears to be normal. If we're good, then I'll continue. I'll start it again, and then we'll run it for four or five minutes. We won't get above like 2,500 RPM. Um, and then we need to shut it down, and then per the Rotax maintenance manual, we need to inspect the lifters on the inside of the engine here. So we'll pop the rocker covers off. We'll make sure there's no air trapped in them. I'll do that by leaning on the lifter um, with the, when the push rods are at full extent and I'll make sure I'll, I'll lean on with a hammer and I'll make sure they're not really squishy if they're really squishy that indicates there's air in them Clear. covers off to check the lifter bodies for air. Just a little bit of oil. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the prop and I'm gonna watch the valves open and close. This is our exhaust valve, here's our exhaust stack. This is our intake valve, this is our intake stack. So I'm gonna turn it until they're both stationary. They're both at a neutral position. Let's see, push this up. That's our exhaust valve closing. So next, our intake valve should open because the, the combustion had already taken place. It, it exhausted all of the exhaust gases. Now we're gonna turn the prop more. Our intake valve is opening to suck more air into the cylinder. So that's intake. Now here's compression. See where there's this space where I turn the prop and it's just a dead zone? Mm. Right. We know those push rods and those lifters are kind of at a neutral position. So now's a good time to check for those. So there is a calibrated force you're supposed to push on these to check. I think it's 10 pounds or something. Um, but we just use our calibrated linear force applicator and we lean onto it. And what we're looking for, or I should say what we're not looking for, is a large air gap to open up up there. So the more I lean on it, the more I'm actually gonna compress the lifter and get this to open a little bit more. Um, and that's normal. What, we're, what we don't wanna see is when I go lean on this right away and we get a large gap open up. We don't wanna see any kind of gap, any kind of rattling when I lean on that. We want it to be a nice, smooth, uh, transition to that gap okay these are good and I'm leaning with some decent force I mean you can see I'm moving the plane as I lean on it so what happens is if we have air trapped in the lifter bodies um, it's just gonna create a void and that push rod is gonna rattle around on that lifter and uh, and rock around excessively 